interrupt your regular programming for this breaking news. A companion hollow has suddenly appeared on 14th Street and has already breached level 3 containment. The Hollow Investigative Association has dispatched a team to the scene to carry out emergency protocols. Evacuating the residents in nearby blocks is underway. Please stay away from the 14th Street area. Wise, come check this out. What's that? 14th Street? I think the news mentioned it earlier. Give me a sec. Yeah, in the Janus Quarter. They say it's already breached the level 3 controls. Yeah. Public security were conducting a manhunt over there today. Evacuations may not be going as expected. So you're saying? We should get ready. We'll be seeing some business coming our way soon. Cool. Now we play the waiting game. Time to wake up, Billy! Eyes open, everyone! Say cheese! Kill you all! <laughs> You've made a mistake, mister. We aren't your enemy. That is. Boss, it's the Air Force! Damn you! Cutting hairs! What? You found the red thing? Pick the biggest gun and rain down justice! Falcon 4, attack order received.
tracks, platforms, carriages. This is the old metro junction. If that's the case, then this must be the Cretan Hollow. <clears throat> Good. Headset still works, and the recording function is normal. <clears throat> this is Anby Damara, a member of the Odd Job Agency, the Cunning Hairs. I accidentally fell into a companion hollow. I don't have a carrot or proxy support. Probability of getting lost in the hollow is at 96.4%. I will be making a voice log of my experience. Let it serve as evidence for future investigation in the case I am killed or turned into a monster by the ether. Anby's hollow survival log number one. From my surroundings, I can confirm this is the old Metro Junction area of the Cretan Hollow. The Metro Hollow's terrain is inherently complex. My chances of being rescued will be reduced by 37.8% if I don't consider my next step carefully. If anyone doubts the nature of the Hollow's spatial distortions, please use my recording as proof of their danger. Please don't enter a Hollow unless you are a professional investigator. Otherwise... There you are, Anby! Great! I knew you'd be okay! Whoa, whoa! Hey! What's gotten into you? You almost cut me! I've met another being of reason. He looks a lot like my colleague, Billy Kidd. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's me! Billy! An investigator has previously encountered ethereals who can mimic human speech and behavior. The investigator rescued the ethereal pretending to be their teammate, but once they got out of the hollow, it revealed itself. The city made a huge sacrifice, but it was unable to defeat the monster. It was only thanks to a courageous investigator who gave his life to drive the monster back into the hollow that the danger was averted. Come on, the ethereal would be done for the minute it left the hollow. Wait, isn't that the plot of that movie that was in theaters not long ago? There was a long list of victims involved in the incident. I read all their names. That's called a cast list! Question, who would you most like to have dinner with? Huh? Dinner? <laughs> of course. That'd be the big screen superheroes! <laughs> the Starlight Knights! Wait, wait, wait! Put your blade down! I'll tell you! <sighs> it's really the late night drama actress from... Oh, sweetie... Monica... <laughs> All clear. The individual has been confirmed as the real Billy Kid. Meeting Billy Kid increases my chances of survival by over 67.8%. I'm glad you're okay, Billy. I told you I'm me! It's been a while since we fell. Nicole must be trying to come up with a way to get us out from the outside. But will she be willing to pay for the help? You know how Nicole is. <laughs> Based on Nicole's tight-fisted spending habits, I'd say your original analysis is likely correct. Damn, now you've got me worried. Let's not get carried away. We have to work together to get through this. As usual, you take the front, and I'll provide fire support from behind. Right. Which one? Hi. people. You're monsters. We're destined to be enemies. I'll aim for your weak spot. It won't hurt.
<laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Huh? Wait, who's that over there? <sighs> Strongbox is right at his feet. You're right! Awesome! Saves us the hassle of searching for it. Slow down, Ambi. What are you gonna do? Catch him, then recover the Strongbox. Just wait. Yep, looks like ether corruption. This mutation is so intense. I don't think this guy has any ether aptitude at all. His consciousness is still holding on. It's the core! <laughs> this guy's a tough one! Anby! Get ready! Roger that. For a hand. Watch out. Its flashes also have a wide range! Hey! Yeah. Stand still! my commission have fallen into that hollow i need a proxy's help now hello nicole it'd be nice of you to knock next time i feel like i hear of your urgent needs at least three times a month nicole you can make fun of me all you want after you help me deal with this crisis please legendary proxy faithin what, what trouble, trouble did, did you, you get, get yourself, yourself into, into this time? time? I just checked. Doesn't look like there's anyone suspicious outside. Don't worry. I wasn't followed. 
It took a lot to get out of 14th Street unnoticed, but I made sure nobody was tailing me. I hope so. I know things been tight lately with the general election just around the corner. They're really cracking down on proxies. They set up a hotline and... So what's the hurry, Nicole? Which creditor is chasing you this time? That's not it! I was set up by public security and that angry reporter from Redo TV. So Billy and Ambie fell into a hollow. I have to get them out. And I need to get back what I've been commissioned to deliver. It's an emergency and you're the only ones who can help. Why don't you make a rescue application with the Hollow Investigative Association? I... don't want to make us a target for the association right now. If they found we'd been involved in Hollow raiding, we'd be in big trouble. And it'd take a small fortune to pay those greedy vultures off. But I can't just abandon my squad, right? Leaving employees behind. <laughs> that does sound a lot like Nicole's style. Hey, don't be mean. I allocate a large portion of our revenue to the employee rescue budget. Look, all in all, my request is simple. All you need to worry about is getting my people and my client's stuff out of the hollow safely. You don't accept basic proxy work now? Faithen, finish this job, and I'll clear my entire bill in one go. Okay, deal. Still no good? Then I'll add... Huh? You'll do it? <sighs> Damn. You should have waited for Nicole to add the bonus. Great! There's no time to waste! I'll be waiting for you in the hollow. Uh, Nicole, you're hurt? You should stay and rest a while before heading back out. But... Uh... Just listen to my sister. We'll need your help to take Eo somewhere close to the hollow later. Oh... Deploying your bangboo double, huh? Okay. Hey, can you tend to Nicole's wound? I'll go debug the HDD and help you with the prep work to infiltrate the hollow. Well then, let's get down to business. Hello? Can you hear me, Nicole? Hey. You can put Eos through now. Okay. Right, little one. Off you go, then. <laughs> Done. Bangboo's on the way. <sighs> well then. Can we begin? Now is a good time to take a break. Is that acceptable, Proxy? You all get some rest. I'll take the first watch. Thanks, Proxy. Whew! That was dangerous. It's crazy what a powerful monster that Red Fang dude mutated into. It's all thanks to you, Manager! You got us out of there in the nick of time! As expected from Faithen! Reliable as always! A few more compliments like that, and I might just give you a discount. Really? I think... 
think the proxy was just trying to be polite, Ambi. Speaking of the commission fee, I thought with Faith in being so expensive, Nicole would have left us to fend for ourselves. I didn't think she'd actually hire you. If you hadn't come, I'm afraid we wouldn't have made it out of that Ethereal's territory. Thanks for coming to the rescue. Speaking of which, I've always wanted to ask you about that device in your store. You know, the one that lets you sync with Bang Boo and communicate in real time within Hollow. That's some serious tech! Even Public Security and the Hollow Investigative Association can't do it. With a trump card like that, why didn't you just join the association? Whatever way you look at it, working with us Hollow Raiders has to be more dangerous than the profit is worth. That sounds like an ethereal. Ugh, so soon? I only just sat down. We have to get out of here. Unless, Billy, you'd like to stay here forever? That new Starlight Night belt you wanted. I guess I'll place it at your grave next year. When you say things like that with that poker face of yours, I can't tell if you're joking or not! Let's get moving. Follow me! Leave any combat along the way to us. <laughs> you just focus on leading the way. Of course, it'd be nice if you lend a hand if battles get a little too intense. I've located the closest exit. Take the path on the right, Bell. Please, manager, lead the way. says that voice oh it's the other faith in you're finally online took your time apologies i was confirming the hollow exit was stable billy andy can you hear me my sister was right about the escape route just now you know space inside the hollows is totally distorted that means that a way out may look like a dead end, but a dead end may also just be a dead end. Thanks for the explanation, Andy. Anyways, our escape route after getting out has been arranged. You can trust us. Hey, Belle, you can cut the connection now. See you at the store. Good luck, you two. It's gone quiet. It became a regular bang boo. Why would they desync at a time like this? Going straight forward. Brace for impact. We're gonna crash! We're gonna crash! We're gonna crash! The oppressive weight of ether is gone. Faith and got the time and location spot on. Hey, you two! Get in the car! <laughs> Boss! You're here! Perfect timing! That was fast, Nicole. Did you run a red light again? No. We just passed a normal green light. R255 in the RGB scale. Oh, right. I made sure I wasn't followed the whole way. Envy? What does an R255 green light look like? It's the same color as your jacket. Nicole, they've both been extracted. I guess it's time to pay up. Not so fast. That's not what we agreed on. The commission was my people and the client's item. 
You've only completed the first half. Don't worry, Nicole. We remember. It's just a joke. I knew Faithen was the most reliable and trustworthy. According to what we saw before extraction, the strongbox should be in the territory of a highly dangerous ethereal. The White Star Institute has it registered as Dullahan, a superior ethereal. That's the one. That red fang dude was unlucky. His ether corruption must have been pretty intense, considering he's become such a dangerous ethereal. Andrea and I tried to grab the strongbox, but that guy was so tough! We didn't get the chance before we got extracted. We did find this along the way, though. What exactly is in that box? Is it worth all this effort? Mm-hmm. We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Take a look at this. So, it's a weird-looking necklace that's actually a flash drive? That's right! It's a mini storage device. It's Silver's. I picked it up in the building before I got out of 14th Street. I noticed it before. He always had it on his person. So, it must contain something important. <laughs> I bet it has something to do with a strong box. But it suffered some damage. Yeah, look at all those burn marks. Faithen, can you do some of your mm, magic using that complicated computer of yours? The HDD is mainly used to process hollow data. But if we only need to export what's in the flash drive. <sighs> hey, sis. Maybe I could try to recover the data with the proxy network's computing power. Great. It's a deal then. We'll try to locate the strong box in the hollow. We'll come find you when we learn something new. Let's just go our separate ways until then. Oh, don't forget to extract the data from the flash drive, though. See ya, manager. Goodbye.